I'm getting a nervous tummy. Greek yogurt mask? If it's good for your it must be good for your <gasps> Should I try sugaring? I'm cringing. Welcome back. <laughs> Die. Welcome back to the channel. Today, you guys are coming shopping with me. I've been seeing these videos all over YouTube. I'm obsessed with them. And I'm the type of person that procrastinates going to the store until I've absolutely run out of everything and need to buy it all. I need razors, skincare stuff, scrubs, body care stuff. I want to try a new shampoo and conditioner, so everything. But a girl's gotta get dressed. I already showered. My hair was so greasy. It gets greasy so fast. Maybe I can find something for that today too. I'm just gonna go for an outfit that I know works and I've probably worn it too many times, but that's okay. <laughs> I know it's cute and I just don't want to think about it. Cargos? They're so trendy right now. I want every color, but also I don't want to spend money. So I'm just gonna keep wearing these ones. How do you guys feel about nude on nude? Is it a little much? I don't care, cause I'm doing it. Is it basic to wear vests all fall long? If it is, then I'm basic. It may not look like much now, but when we add the vest and sneakers downstairs, Nice. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's already noon. I've been sleeping in, okay? The dogs are just so cute in the morning that I can't help but snuggle them. I have no shame. Also, it's getting dark so early these days. It should be a crime. Actually, so depressing. So really, I should be waking up early to like make the most of my day, but I just love my dogs and sleep too much. No regrets. But low key, the day's getting shorter. It means that the holidays are coming up, which I am so excited about. Oh, it's getting so cold though. I'm not excited about the snow. I need to go away this holiday season. By the way, I'm using my bear. I'm partnered with Foreo. You guys know I've talked about their products in the past. I like to use it on mornings where I feel like especially puffy. Listen to it pulsate. And you can make it even more intense on the app. This is level seven. It's doing its thing, honey. You see how much more like tightened and lifted? I swear this cheekbone is sharper than, what's sharp? Like a knife. It's a knife. Look at this side, it's so much more blah. This side is just like tightened and snatched. So if you're looking for a gift this holiday, I love this. I'll link it in the description and Foreo is having a bunch of discounts for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So now is the time. What? Can I please get an ice? venti white chocolate mocha with a shot with blonde espresso <laughs> can you add caramel drizzle and vanilla sweet cream cold foam with the ice white chocolate mocha you want the vanilla sweet cream cold foam instead of the whip correct yes Ooh. all right please drive up Oh my God, you guys, the way TikTok helps me so much with my drive-through social anxiety. Starbucks especially is so scary to order from sometimes. I literally find orders on TikTok and then they tell you exactly how to order it. And no matter how many times I've ordered this drink, I still have to read it word for word. Ah, uh, necessary. Cheers. Wait, I ordered a venti. Did you? I ordered a venti. Did you pay for a venti? I take what they give me and that's it. I'm being a Karen. I obviously have my bestie with me. We go everywhere together. We're gonna get you something for your issue down there. I have an issue. <laughs> you. You're the one who said you want adult diapers. I never said that! <laughs> Sure. The real reason Charles is here is because you can't drive. <laughs> That's why. Because you'll literally crash. So I can be a passenger princess. Is there any other better sound in the world? Tell me a sound that's better than this. Oh! Okay, that one's stuck. Ew, that one has shit in it. I'm getting a giant cart because let's be real, I know myself. And the little baskets are not going to be enough for the damage I'm doing today. This is the softest stuffy I've ever felt in my life. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm having stomach problems. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me when I leave the house? It's definitely the Starbucks. Filming out in public definitely isn't helping. I'm getting a nervous tummy, if you know, you know. So we're looking at skincare. I want to find a cleansing balm. I've been using the micellar water, which I do like, but when I have like a lot of makeup on, I kind of prefer to melt it all away with the cleansing balm. Here we go. I found the Pond's cleansing balms. These are OG cleansing balms and they're actually really good. And then maybe we'll get some face masks. These are so good for when my skin is feeling extra dry. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Little travel size Neutrogena wipes are. I just love mini things, but I don't need it. A Greek yogurt mask. You guys, did you see the TikTok of the guy that said to put yogurt in your, you know where? If you have an odor, put plain yogurt in your vagina. <laughs> supposed to help their pH. Has anyone tried that? Because that sounds so wild to me, but also I'm not like completely against trying it if it actually works. So let a girl know. And if it's good for your vagina, it must be good for your 
face. <laughs> she heard me say that. A foot mask. Loki, I need one of these. I don't actually, but I am going to get one. But does it make your foot peel? I don't think so. I think it's literally just like a booty moisturizer for your feet. I still feel like I want it. So now that I'm off Accutane, I can wax freely. I was able to do it when I first started Accutane when my skin wasn't as sensitive, but then I had to stop because I was literally ripping off my skin. Don't recommend it. This is the best wax of all time, okay? Do your own Brazilian, save some money, and do this because it's not as hard as you'd think. I'm getting one of these. I actually despise the cream hair removals. They gross me out. They smell so bad. It smells like bare chemicals on your body. It does remove most of the hair, but it grows back so quickly. Way rather wax. <gasps> Should I try sugaring? Candy apple scent. Oh, that sounds good. I've never sugared before. Is sugaring better than waxing? I'm gonna get it because I want to try it, but I'm skeptical that I'd like it better than waxing. These face shavers are everything. And just to be on the safe side, I always use a new one every single time I dermaplane. They're affordable and so good. Like they're so sharp. So it just gets everything off. $6.97, you can't beat Walmart. Let's talk razors. These, elite. You don't even really need to use shaving cream with this. The soap bar around it does a good enough job. I'm getting one of those. These are close, second best. And this might be a better value because it has so many different heads. Charles always tries to steal my razor, so I might just get an extra one and give it to him. These razors though, Horrible. The amount of times I've cut myself using one of these razors. I mean, they are only $3, but please, is it worth a million cuts? I don't think so. Point death by a thousand cuts, do it. What is this mechanism? Is this new? No, it's going further back. Do I have to ask somebody for help? I'm not doing that. I, my social anxiety won't let me. I'm embarrassed. Charles, can you help me? You're doing it, you're doing it. Perfect. Thank you. Deodorant, deodorant. Okay, I've never liked the spray on ones. I couldn't even tell you why, I just don't. My mom has like been trying to put me on a healthy deodorant for forever and I was never down because I just felt like they didn't work as well until I found the secret one. Secret came out with this one, which is aluminum free. It's not an antiperspirant, but I don't really mind because it's way better for you. Aluminum free, free of parabens, dyes, talc, which is so important for deodorant. And the real coconut one is elite. It smells so good. I love this one. Oh, they actually have it in this packaging too. It's like a plastic free packaging. It's also more expensive, so I'm not gonna get that one, but it's cute. So you're welcome, mom. I'm really picky with body wash because I feel like it matters, especially for affecting your pH. So I usually use the Dr. Bronner's lavender one, which is my absolute favorite, but I am open to trying something new. Ooh, I also do really like the coconut butter scrub. Oh, it just smells so good. And it's free of parabens too. So I'm gonna go with this today. My favorite section, the travel section. Everything is so mini and adorable. I'm not traveling anywhere, but you can never be too prepared. Look at this, we got mini sanitizers. You know I need one of these in every single one of my purses. Okay, I'm gonna get two of those. Recently, my sister made fun of me for not having like toothpicks around. She's like, I keep toothpicks in my purse. I keep them like in my car. And I was like, that's actually genius. So I'm gonna get this mini little floss container. You can never be too prepared. The wet brush is the elite hairbrush. I have like the bigger version, the pro version, where it's like big and rectangular. And it's kind of on its last life. Like all the bristles are bent and stuff. So I think I wanna go back to getting the original. Ooh, or do I want the black marble? Pink marble. You can never have enough hair ties, but my hack is to get them from the dollar store because let's be real, you're gonna lose them and it's not something that you need to spend a lot of money on. So I'm gonna hold off on that and go to good old Dollarama. Every time you come and like take your time shopping, you find something new that you've never seen before. Like look at this bottle. This is such an interesting shape. Twist, I mean, it looks fancy. I've never tried it, but the packaging is calling my name. Let's be real, I don't need it. And then over here, we have Garnier Fructus looking like an entire yogurt bottle. This does not look like a yogurt bottle. <laughs> they need one of those like, do not drink this warnings because this looks delicious. You see this empty shelf? That's where my dry shampoo is supposed to be. I'm very upset. But they actually don't have a few things that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna have to go to Shoppers Drug Mart after this. Shoppers Drug Mart is the Canadian version of CVS. We also don't have Target. They tried to bring Target to Canada and it just like flopped miserably, which is really sad because everyone was really excited about it. But they just didn't have the same type of inventory as the States. It was just not as good and they couldn't compete with Walmart. So then they just went out of business, which is really, really sad because I was so excited for it to come to Canada. So Target, please come back. I alone can keep you in business, okay? Come back to Canada. We need your Target. Oh my gosh. This is what I need. The Sally Hansen airbrush body makeup is so good. It just covers up any redness. It's literally body makeup and it literally makes you look like you have a filter on. I have a lot of those like little red veins all over my legs now, the older that I'm getting. So spraying this on when I'm wearing a dress just smooths them out, makes them look so good. Okay, nail stuff. I really enjoy doing my own nails, but I'm not gonna lie to you. It takes like three hours to do a new set. So I do like to get like press-ons that I can just quickly pop on when I'm in between sets and I don't, you know, have time to film it or whatever. And I just need 
something quick for a few days. So which one should I get? Oh, look at these ones. They have like full on gems and everything. Those look like a full on nail artist did those. A nice basic French tip, medium length. Love those, getting those. No way, they have acetone here. <gasps> Okay, tell me why I've gone to like four different shoppers drug marts, two different Rexalls, and nowhere has had acetone. Is there an acetone shortage that I just don't know about? Because that does not seem normal to me. I usually get it from shoppers, but this is actually way cheaper and bigger bottles. I'm gonna get two of those. Is it just me or do like tweezers get dull very quickly? I feel like I'm constantly trying to buy a new one so that they can still be sharp and get like the tiny little eyebrow hairs, you know? I really like this Revlon kind. I'm just gonna rebuy that because mine are really dull. These foot graders are intimidating but necessary and I'm getting that foot hydrating mask so maybe I need to get a skin foot grater also to get myself like a full foot pedicure I'm gonna have the smoothest feet ever this one literally looks like a cheese grater the next time I do my pedicure I'm gonna do like the full foot spa with my foot mask the foot grater after that it's over for the foot models okay <laughs> Oh my God, my inner child is screaming. I didn't know they had Claire's at Walmart. This is so cute. I need to get one of these for my niece. $8? Tell me $8 is not so expensive for this. Are you getting? They know what they're doing. Kids begging their mom like, mom, please. Then your heart melts and you just have to get it anyway. So $8 is nothing at that point. Little princess nail polishes. I have to get this for her. Every time I FaceTime her, she asks me to bring her nail polishes. Hannah, your auntie is about to go off for you. I'm getting that. And these are scented hand sanitizers, but look how cute they are. The lash section is low-key my favorite because I truly believe you do not need to buy expensive lashes to look fire. These falsqueras, I knew about them before they got viral on TikTok. They're sold out everywhere, but they have them here. So I'm gonna get that because they literally, when you put them on properly, they look like you've done lash extensions. I'm literally closing my eyes because I cannot even look at this makeup. I did so much damage at the Sephora sale. I just don't need, I don't need new makeup. I don't. I'm tempted though. My exfoliating mitt is literally on its last life, but this doesn't feel like super exfoliating. This feels like too soft. Like I want it to be ripping my skin off. Like I want to feel like a new layer of me has emerged after I scrub my body with a mitt, you know? Feel, that doesn't even feel that like rough. You wanna be a snake. I, yeah, yeah, I need to shed. Exactly. Is there a rougher one? Ew, why does it have dust on it? Ew. Oh, look at this big boy. A giant round loofah. Feel it. No, thank you. Okay. Once you soak these, they like get really big and poofy. Did you know that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job. Look at this giant shower sponge. This just feels like you're washing yourself like a dish. Oh my God, it's like a knockoff Clarisonic. Remember when Clarisonic literally had us in a chokehold and then we all realized that it was really bad for your skin? <laughs> and that we were all just scraping the shit out of our skin. Actually, this might be for your feet. It is. It's a spa pedicure kit. Wait, do I need this to go with my foot mask and my cheese grater? No. Okay. I'm gonna hold off on the mitt because I low-key like mine better, but I do want to get another hair towel because I use them every single time I dry my hair. They're supposed to help with like breakage and just dry your hair a lot faster than like a big body towel. I grabbed the one from the back because I don't know what it is. I just feel like the ones in front are like tainted. Like I want a nice fresh one. It's the same thing with my food. Okay, ladies, we need to talk. Every time I feel like I find something that I like, I read an article or somebody tells me that it's not good for you. I was using these thinking, oh my gosh, 100% organic cotton. I'm like, oh great. Like these are gonna be so good for me. And then there was like a bunch of TikToks saying that they were having health problems and is because of these so I stopped using them literally still have like the full pack and I'm just not touching it because I'm so paranoid so then I tried switching to the diva cup tell me why this is so difficult to put in and out it really does take some getting used to and I'm like on my third cycle now trying to use it and I still struggle especially if I have long nails like, oh, hell no. it's too hard it's too hard to take in and out you gotta like fold it twist it oh my god I know it's a struggle these are the girl struggles that you don't understand I'm just gonna free flow it no. <laughs> I hate being a girl. JK, I love it. Charles, you need to get this. This is my favorite deodorant that you wear. Old Spice. When we first started dating, when I sleep over at your house, I would wear your deodorant because I would forget mine and I'd be like totally okay with it because I smelled like you the whole day and I loved it. Vitamins, vitamins, vitamins. I definitely need melatonin and the Ollie ones are my favorite because I don't get really drowsy the next day. I'll only like eat half of one of these gummies and it's enough to put me right out. Less stress. How can you get less stress from a gummy? Is it like CBD? Some people experience drowsiness. Oh, that's why I just like puts you to sleep so it's like you're not gonna be stressed if you're sleeping i don't know if i'm ready to try that the amount of times that emergency has prevented me from getting sick i didn't know that they came in gummies oh but it's less milligrams for the gummies i could not forget the candle aisle Mm. If you smell good, then your house has to smell good. It's just a rule. That's basically law. Vanilla is my absolute favorite. Holidays are coming up. Can't go wrong with a good old vanilla. I'm cringing. Oh, hell no. Oh, 
Next stop, shoppers. This is what we came here for. Kristen S. Dry Shampoo. It's kind of like makeup for your hair, which sounds weird. I fill in my hairline when I wear my hair up and I'll just spray this because it has a brown tint to it and it makes my hair look so much fuller and cleaner. I love this stuff. Might not be for everybody because it is really gritty. So if you like touch your hair, it's kind of like you can see it on your hand type of thing, but I just think it's so worth it. It makes your hair just look like brand new. I love under eye patches. I'm gonna get these. I haven't tried these ones specifically before, but when you have a dry under eye, your concealer just looks so trash over top of it. So I regularly will use like under eye patches and obviously eye cream and I feel like that just helps my makeup application. I forgot to get a body scrub at Walmart, so let's find a good one here. It's brown sugar and coconut butter. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and it's Dove, so it has to be good, so I can't wait to try that. There's nothing like a good body exfoliation. Hey, no. Now for Dollarama. Look at all their Christmas stuff. <gasps> I can't get sidetracked. You just can't count Dollarama out. They have the exact same thing that they had at Walmart for only two bucks here. Epsom salts galore. The lavender ones are my favorite. Look how fancy this bubble bath looks. Oh my gosh, it looks like champagne. That's so cute. Stop, I played myself. They have a foot treatment mask here for way cheaper. And a hair towel. Oh my gosh, only three bucks. I'm annoyed. Okay, Dollarama coming through with the jade rollers. Four bucks though. Dollarama ain't always a dollar. You can get your gua sha and your jade roller for the low price of $8. Nose strips galore. Low key, it makes me mad that dermatologists say not to use nose strips because how satisfying are they? I can watch those videos all day long though. Pimple popping, comment below if you get queasy at that type of stuff or if you are a pimple popping addict like me. All my girls that wear lash extensions, if you know, you know, they have these here. Bobby pins, 150. And look how cute this matte black claw clip is. Okay, I'm not getting this, but look how funny this is. It's a Santa clip. That's so cute. Aww. Maybe I shouldn't put it in my hair, oops. And the hair ties we were looking for. Well, that's enough shopping for today. That actually was very <laughs> more tiring than I thought, but that's okay, because now I have the products to relax and have a self-care moment. So I'm going home. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you want me to do like a get ready with me glow up style video using all the stuff that I got. Are we down for that? Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you love me. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.